Hello everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to discuss something that's come out here recently. Streamlabs has incorporated uh, what used to be AnkBot or AnkBot into their uh, program now. So Streamlabs now has a chatbot in addition to all the other features they already had. So real quick, I wanted to go through the chatbot real quick and just show you how to connect it to your different accounts. I plan on doing a series of short tutorials on this chat bot and kind of go through some of the basic things that you're going to want to know about it. So let's go ahead and discuss how we can connect this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that uh, it's fairly easy to connect to your Twitch account, but, I, but there's something particular that you need to do to make sure that it works right. So first thing you do is you're going to click on this little torso down here. And what you're going to need to do once you download this is you're going to need to go to Twitch and make a bot account if you do not already have one, okay? If you do not have a bot account, you need to make one. If you do have one, you need to log into Twitch with the bot account before you try to connect it. But when you go get it, uh, get logged in on Twitch, then what you're going to need to do is go to this Twitch bot and type in the information for your Twitch bot, and then you need to generate a token. Okay, that's going to give you a pop-up window. You say OK, and then that's going to send you to um, a Streamlabs' website. They're going to grab a token from your uh, Twitch account. So what it'll do is ask you permission to you know, use the authorized app and all that stuff. You get the permission, it'll give you a key or a token, or what they call it, an auth token or OAuth token. And so what you'll do is then you'll copy it and then paste it right in here in this little field right here. And then once you do that, um, you can hit connect, okay? Make sure, though, this is the key to the whole thing, is make sure you do your Twitch bot before you do your, your streaming account, okay? That is key. So do your Twitch bot first. And then second, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the same thing for your stream account, okay? So log out of Twitch from your bot account. You know, go to Twitch log out from your bot account, then log back in with your stream account, and then go through the same steps that you had just gone through with your, uh, with connecting your uh, bot to this chat bot. Okay, so generate a token, copy paste it in, then hit connect, and now your, your streamer account's connected. And you should see both of them right here logged in. And what you can do just to test it out is to go to Twitch, your dashboard, to say something in your chat. Type something in your chat, hit enter, see if it shows up in your chat box. Okay, and if they do, then you know everything's working fine. Okay, you should also get a connection message for both your bot and for your stream account inside the uh, things here. And you want to make your, your Twitch bot moderator. Say so that's key too. And you can simply do that by clicking on the name. And it'll give you a little pop up window here, and you can make them a moderator by clicking on that little sword right there. And that's it. Uh, so you got that. That's that's one of the ways you can, that's one of the things you connect. Another thing too, it depends on what you're using. If you're using Discord, you have a Discord bot. Pretty much the same thing. You know, make sure you're logged into Discord. Generate a token. It'll do the same steps. Copy, paste the token in and connect it, okay? Uh, if you have a Game Wisp account, same thing. I don't use Game Wisp, so but I use Streamlabs. So I have Streamlabs. I'm using that, and also have a Spotify account. Spotify is uh, cool because you can use Spotify for your song requests. Okay, so in addition to YouTube, you can now use Spotify in this, which I mean, it's really nice. Uh, it works really well. I've been using it uh, ever since I've been using this chat. Okay. And likewise, you also, if you have a cloud account, you can connect to that, which I don't have one um, that I only use on this. So. But anyway, so you know, that's, that's it's really nice. They've got all this integrated, and you get these all connected, and then it gives you a lot of functionality inside of this new Streamlabs chatbot. Okay, guys, that is it for that. It's really simple to get it connected. Just make sure the key is get to get your Twitch bot uh set first and then get your streamer account after that okay and uh you get that done and you'll be uh to the races with getting the rest of your stuff set up with this new chatbot so anyway guys that's it for this one uh i will be covering more here in the next few days little short little tutorials like this 
on the basics that most people will probably be using on their live streams. That is it, guys. Thank you again. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe for more streaming tutorials. This is Punch the Frugal Streamer, and we will see you out there. Bye-bye.